it's it's a woman's shoe this is like a lady woman lady woman hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Cameron Olsania I'm super excited to be back with you guys and today is going to be a very fun video we're switching it up and we're going from purses to shoes and um, I brought two of my most recent shoe purchases and it is the Manolo Hengisis. Say hello. <laughs> and the Jador. I actually don't know her official name, but the, the Jador Kitten Heels. Um, and we're going to get started on that. I want to start with the Hengisis. Um, for me, these are probably the most classic uh, shoe for any woman to have in her luxury collection um these shoes go so 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 way back um it's it's insane um if you watched um sex in the city you definitely know this is probably one of the reasons why the manolo hanky scene kind of blew up and became that shoe that every woman should have um i actually got this in this gorgeous dove gray um and i just love it i love the jewel on it. Um, another thing is the hang -easies come in several star uh, styles. They also have sling bag versions. They have satin, they have velvet. Um, I believe they also have like um, almost like a denimish style to it. Um, and they also have like a mule version of them. Um, this is just the classic pumps. I have this in the 105 centimeters height and I will say it did take a little bit of getting used to um, but it is very comfortable so my shoe size is a size eight and a half I had to size up for a size uh, to a size nine or a 39 they always use Italian uh, sizing so it's a size 39 I don't know if this is the rule for all of Manila Blonic shoes but I do know specifically for the hangy C's this is the classic rule um, of thumb, like rule of thumb. And I honestly just love the way the shoe looks. Um, I'm going to get super up close so you guys can see it. This beautiful satin gray, the jewels, do you see how it shifts with each movement? I love the um, sole. There's a slight thickness to it, so that ensures that they're when you're walking, you don't damage the sides. I will say that satin is quite a fab uh, fragile fabric, so that is one thing to note. Um, some people do get their shoes protected underneath. Uh, we took this to get protected, but unfortunately, this uh, the company said the owner said he was worried about doing it because he didn't want to damage the satin so he refused to but inside of it is just simple leather also so it's very structured on the sides right here it's very structured but right here also is smooth the back uh, the sh sorry the shoe is going to adjust to my feet as i go if you're not comfortable buying it brand new then you can go pre-love but I have a trick for you guys on how to get this on sale. So I actually um, got mine for insane prices. So I, um, this bag, this, I keep saying bag, this shoe goes for about $995. Like, I think I got like $328 back and I paid less than $400. For these brand new so that that is an option I have noticed that even you know in the UK they also have this on sale um, not I'm not talking about just this color but they tend to have these on sale um, during Christmas time like once you start getting to the winter fall time you will see brands start to kind of try to sell um, their sizes off so it is very very possible for you to get it at an amazing amazing price um i'm so excited for this coming end of year because i definitely see myself picking this up in a few colors um i wanted to play it safe with gray and now i'm ready to go crazy so this is the christian dior 
and I actually will say this shoe is gorgeous. I act I got them at the same time on the same day, and um, this shoe's putting me through a lot, y'all. <laughs> um, I just love the way it looks. It's very very feminine. Um, it has this unique curve to the heel that I just think is is just it just stood out and it became the shoe of um of 2019 it was everywhere you would see anyone and everyone wearing this shoe it's just the detailing in the uh, material the fabric uh, the lightness of the shoe it just stands out it's something that belongs in a closet it's something that like not even like a closet like locked away it deserves to shine and be seen i got it in a very very standard color um because i wanted it to be something i could wear with anything and everything we let the camera focus so i just really love the way the shoe kind of comes off i love the detail in the fabric this to me you guys you see this it's stunning and then you have this bow here and this is also lined with leather so that helps keeps that structured shape if it was just cloth alone it would collapse and then it wouldn't be as you know it won't hold up well so they were they thought about this i will give them that this is well thought out and then you have going all around right here this helps it stretch to your feet so you have this stretching right here i will say it is a tight stretch so i'll give it that but it does stretch quite a lot pretty well this is i think to me this is also another cute detail that i like is this star right here i think this is just really adorable that they have that you also have dior um and then you can tell it i have worn this i am thinking of putting a protector underneath this um uh, this one but it's doing so well there's really not much of a need but i will say like right here in front the tip is wearing down a bit um but i'm not really concerned because you can easily get this stuff fixed i also like that this is cloth and so it's very hard wearing compared to the manolos you won't run into um, the fabric peeling as quickly it is possible i haven't seen it but it could happen i just love this like looking at the silhouette of it from this standpoint and then looking at the heel from here it just is so unique it's to me it's just like why didn't anyone think of this like that's how i feel when i look at it it's it's just gorgeous it's amazing um so i'm going to tell you how it's been wearing this shoe so i will be honest i have not gotten to wear this shoe as much as it deserves so i didn't feel comfortable wearing it to work um because of the label it was obvious i'm not someone that wears luxury products to work um just because i feel like it might be seen as unprofessional and um i'm trying to get some money <laughs> so Oh, I don't have a lot to say about this shoe just because I still haven't gotten a chance to like let it shine. I got this in a 38 and a half and I have to say it's been a struggle. Um, I feel like maybe I should have sized up. I did try it in a 39 but for me it just didn't feel like it fit well enough. I, I, I don't know when I put it on it was so tight. Um, and then when I did the 39, it was like too loose. It was just like the middle ground. I couldn't find a middle ground and this just seemed like the best in because it's leather. The interior of it is leather and so that means that it can stretch. Um, I attempted to stretch it with a shoe stretcher and this shoe is powerful. This shoe, you can put a bump on it and it would be in impeccable conditions because I put it on a shoe stretcher for four days. It did not stretch like 
can you believe it it did not stretch maybe it's just shoe stretches are not everything maybe i need to stretch it put in a shoe stretcher for two months but it didn't and i was even worried when i did it that oh maybe it's been in the shoe stretcher for too long nope so i talked to my essay and she told me i should put rub and alcohol inside of the shoe and then put it on and walk around um so i'm probably gonna head out for a mini like shop shopping <laughs> so i'm gonna try and do that um and see if that works because i love this shoe so much it's just amazing and i would love to really get to use her but after like an hour it becomes excruciatingly excruciate excruciate mm. so after an hour this shoe becomes very excruciate excruciating to wear um i think i've been able to go up an hour to be able to survive it i think the issue with it is it's more on the narrow side whereas i have wide feet and so as the shoe starts to kind of go in and become narrower it starts to bunch up my toes a bit and that makes it really tight and then you couple with it with the fact that i'm walking final thoughts between the two um that like which one i would recommend between the two i would honestly i know i know i know i would recommend the manolos um, my reason being there are multiple sizes or heights similar to this this also has multiple heights but when it comes to comfort this takes the cake and it comes in so many colors which these shoes to me like have similar pros it's just comfort like that's the one that's lacking here is comfort like that's literally the only thing that's missing for me is freaking comfort y'all like if if that existed i would rate them equally i would even probably say this was more recommended than this because of the height i have but it's not as comfortable as i expected um i i don't know i think i've heard from others like my other friends say theirs are comfortable so i don't know like i don't know maybe i'm just one of the few people but it, i really want to love this shoe so much i really want to give it like a chance and i'm just sad that i'm struggling with it i'm gonna keep trying because honestly i haven't worn this shoe that much i am going to be honest that's another thing i've only gotten maybe less than 10 uses out of it i just want to say you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i apologize for my lighting um it's been very interesting dodging the little sunspots to get you to see the product and what I'm showcasing, but I hope you enjoyed this. I think this was really fun to switch it up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video if you really enjoyed it. And don't forget to comment, which one do you see being like a better shoe to have, um, to have in your collection? And again, thank you so much, you guys. I love you. Have an amazing one. Bye. <laughs>